Hello and welcome. It's a brand new week, which means a brand new vehicle from the Criminal Enterprises DLC Drip Feed. This week, we actually got two new vehicles. I'll be making separate customization videos on both of them. As you can see by the title, today I'm going to be doing the Kanjo SJ. And from now on, I'm going to be testing out the cars at the end on the Vinewood Hills track that I made. So I'm not going to only customize it, but I'm going to give it a test to see how well it turns, how well it performs, its top speeds etc. But anyways, I hope your day's been as great as mine, and I hope you're ready to own the best Kanjo SJ in the game. First up, we're gonna start off with the armor. You wanna go ahead and put on 100% armor. For your brakes, go ahead and put on the race brake. Moving on to the front bumper, you want to go ahead and attach the arc bumper. For your rear bumper, you actually want to keep it at default. For your engine air filter, you want to go ahead and put on the mushroom air filter. For the engine cover, you want to go ahead and put on the carbon engine cover. For your engine tunes, you want to boost it up to level 4. For your strut brace, this is really just a personal preference. For me personally, I prefer no strut brace. Moving onto the exhaust go ahead and put on the chrome big core exhaust for your fenders keep it at default for your hood catches go ahead and put on the angled hood pins and for the hood you want to attach the vented hood Moving on to the interior, you want to put on the carbon dash and stripped interior. For your doors, go ahead and keep it at default again. For your seats, you also want to keep this at default. Even if you put on the green ones, it wouldn't matter because we're going to be changing the color of the car later. For your wheel, you want to put on formula basic. For your lights, you want to put on xenon lights. And for your livery, you want to put on the Endurex livery. For your mirrors, you want to put on the carbon mirrors. For your plate, you want to go ahead and attach the yellow on black, as per usual. Now for your respray, on your primary color, you want to change it to metallic frost white. And for your secondary, you want to change it to metallic black. Though for most of you, it should already be set to metallic black on default. For your trim color, go ahead and change it to black. For roll cages, you want to keep it at no roll cage. For your roof fins, you want to put on the secondary GT roof spoiler. And for your roof, you want to put on the primary sunroof. Moving on to your side panels, you want to keep them at default. For your skirts, you want to put on the secondary skirts. For your splitters, go ahead and put on the secondary splitter. For your spoiler, you want to attach the racer spoiler for your sun strips as usual you want to keep it at default for your suspension you want to put on street suspension for your wheels you want to go to sport stock rims you want to scroll down to chrono for the wheel color you want to keep it at alloy and for your tires of course put on bulletproof tires and for the tire smoke you want to change it to black Finally, for the windows, you want to put on light smoke, and that's it. You're done. You now have a beautiful looking car, but that's not it. It's now time for the test. Okay, so starting off, uh, not, not a very good start. Acceleration ain't that good, and uh, you can see that its top speeds aren't the best. In this turn, oh my god. You have no idea how hard I pressed the D key, and it just wouldn't turn. It, it, it's turning is like worse than the Coleco. And that turn as well wasn't very good. I don't know if it has something to do with it being front wheel drive, but goddamn is the turning on this thing terrible. So another thing, you can see me drifting around some of these corners. That That's not me drifting. I don't usually drift when I'm doing a race unless it's a car like this, but I still wouldn't drift because I'm trying to test out how it would perform normally. The traction and the grip on this thing is so bad. You can see there again, I drifted around the corner. It wasn't even me, it was actually the car. And trying to do even long turns like that aren't the best. Like, it's actually challenging to just stay in that one lane, even when you're using racing lines. It's just so tedious and difficult. Just talking about how bad this thing is gets me heated. 
Like, oh my god. It's it's such a task to drive this thing. I think at this point, I would much rather do a setup for the Doomsday Heist. Just as long as I'm not using one of these two new vehicles, of course. Giving us a final lap time of 2 minutes and 24 seconds. You now own the best Kanjo SJ in the game. But after the results from this test, that's probably not something to be proud about. That's probably the second worst achievement you can ever have. The first being an uncustomized Kanjo SJ. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, pursue something that makes you happy, and remember that you are valuable. Peace out, dudes.